it's Alpha, your support guy for FidoS. It's been another while, I know. Um, so for the last year, uh, we have been busy with this and that. Uh, perhaps the one thing that we have not been so busy with is the upkeep of this channel. My apologies. It's actually my intention, well, at least from now on, uh, to do more of this so that you can get the latest information uh, of FidoS and what we have been up to right from me uh, at the first hand. So in today's episode, uh, I've got news for you, introducing one of the new toys that the team has been working on for the last year. It's another open source initiative where you can participate and get your hands dirty. We call it OpenFight. It's um, essentially the open source version of FidoS with most, if not all, the technologies that we have used to produce FidoS and its services. So with OpenFide, you will be able to build Chromium OS, well, thanks to Google on that, but with or without the underlying Google service framework and dependencies. Uh, as most of you would probably know, uh, with vanilla Chromium OS, you wouldn't have that choice. At Fight, we believe more choices leads to greater opportunities. So there you have it, a more flexible and freer Chromium OS brought to you by the guys behind FidoS. To learn more about OpenFight, we have prepared a one-pager website at openfight.io. Well, you can actually Google it uh, like what I did here. It basically serves as a quick explainer and very importantly provides you with a link to its repositories in GitHub. Here, a very big one, you can't miss it. Because OpenFide is essentially a downstream fork of Chromium OS, it's, well, how do I put it, an operating system with a Linux kernel. Projects like this are not going to be straightforward at all. So due to the sheer complexity of the whole thing and the magnitude of the size of the codebase, people will just have to break things down into manageable chunks. So you will see a lot of projects in this OpenFire GitHub organization. Don't get too much intimidated by the mess here. We have pinned two most important projects at the top of the page. So let's check them out one by one. This one, Getting Started, it's um, pretty self-explanatory by the name. Uh, it really does what it says on the tin. In this project, we have prepared a detailed step-by-step OpenFire developer guide with every bit of detail written out for you in plain English for you to follow and eventually produce your first bootable OpenFire image. Part of the content here was taken from the official Chromium OS developer guide document. We have also added some twists for the OpenFire scenario. So put it this way, if you wish to be part of the OpenFire story, read this, follow the steps and this is the mandatory prereq. Understand class? Good stuff. The next one I'd like to introduce is a cookbook that we have prepared or in fact are preparing for open fight. So when I think about cookbooks, the first thing that came to my mind was something more or less like these. Yes, the good old O'Reilly's. I'm not sure about you, but those books with a fantastic animal on the covers took me into the realm of computer science and software engineering. It shaped my passion for what I'm doing today when I was at young age. So they're important. And because of that, we like to make one of those with a collective effort of the FidoS team to inspire and welcome new people to the club of software engineering on an operating system level. So in this cookbook, you will find recipes about what you could potentially achieve with the open fight. It's still pretty much in the making. As you can see, we don't have so many recipes at the time when this video was edited, but we promise to constantly improve the content. So if you are interested, I would suggest watching this project for updates. I hope this could help. I am not sure if you have already noticed, but hey, I'm actually using an open fight image that I have just built myself, running it on the world's favorite single board computer that somehow comes in a form factor as a keyboard. Well, in fact, let's rewind this a little bit to start from the beginning so that you can have a better vision of what an OpenFight image looks like. The main idea of OpenFight is to give developers and users more choices. To reflect this, in the OOBE, as a user, you are able to choose between signing in using a Google account, a FidoS account, or a local account just like FidoS releases. The rest of the process is very much identical to using a Chromebook simple. 
As you have already seen, the smoothness of the browsing experience is more than adequate, well at least for the purpose of making this video. Inspired by another YouTuber in the Raspberry Pi arena, Lee PSP Video, so kudos for him, he recently made a video about Raspberry Pi browser benchmarks where he compared front-end performances across different browsers available to use on the Pi. I thought it would be interesting to use this opportunity to join the fight with Open Fight. Now, the actual testing process is very grindy, so I'm not going to bore you with those. But here are the results listed in comparison to the data published by Lee PSP video. From his video, we learned that Lee has used his Raspberry Pi 4B, the 8 gig memory version, under the Raspberry Pi AOS Bullseye to produce the readings. Well, list I use Raspberry Pi 400 here. Other than the memory is only 4 gig, the rest of the config should not be too much different. The readings of the Puffin browser stand out because it kind of cheats. Well, not really, but yeah, it does try to shift some of the front-end heavy liftings to the cloud so it would give you a better benchmark reading. If we consider the Puffin an outlier in our data, it's interesting to see that the 32-bit Chromium under OpenFight outperforms all non-cheating browsers available in the Raspberry Pi OS. Well, the OS does make a difference, doesn't it? It's also worth mentioning that within this version of OpenFight that runs on Raspberry Pi, Prostini is supported. Hope I got that pronunciation right. So yeah, your favorite Linux apps with GUI can be supported. Here is just a quick demonstration of how I can utilize VS Code under Linux subsystem to clone and edit the OpenFight cookbook that I have just mentioned earlier. It's neat, isn't it? The command like goodies from Chromium OS for Raspberry Pi, for example, to quickly access config.txt with one command are also ported here. This is about all that I wanted to share with you today. If you've got any questions or require any technical assistance regarding FileOS, the best way to get hold of me or any other support guy in the team is by joining our official Telegram group or use our Discourse community with links below. And if you'd like to see more of this, I suggest you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. So thank you very much and I will see you soon. Ciao.